I'm Beth Keener. And I'm Greer Howard, and you are watching The Local Lens. Yes, today we are taking you with us on an adventure aboard Atlanta Movie Tour. Woo! All right, guys, so hop on board with us for the best of Atlanta filming locations. You ready, girl? I think we should do it. Let's do this. Guys, welcome to Atlanta Movie Tours. Woo! Yay! We're about to go! Woo! You guys ready to get going? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Many fans were this of the Captain America Civil War yeah. movie. Yeah. This is where they built the flea market in Lagos, oh, Nigeria. Yeah. All the principals were down here. Uh, Scarlett Johansson and some other people uh, were all down in this area down yeah. here. You never get over that machine when he like was really skinny. And then he got in the machine and he got all muscly and oh, came out. Did, I yes. lost my breath on that I one. I wish I yeah. could find that machine too. <laughs> Does anybody know Captain America's uh, character's name? Captain Chris Evans? That's his personal name. What's his character's oh, name? Oh, his character name. Oh. Steve Rogers. Oh, Steve Rogers. Steve. He looked like a Steve. Steve, Steve Rogers. Steve. This is the Southern Railway building, which has been used in a number of different movies and television shows, uh, including a little show you might have heard of called The Walking Dead. Dead. We've made our way over to the Jackson Street Bridge. That's right, you can see scenes filmed on this bridge in Life As We Know It and The Walking Dead. Let's go. Norman Reedus, all cleaned up. <laughs> you know what I'm noticing right now? I'm wondering where Norman Reedus found his hair dye. Because <laughs> how did his hair get black all the way, like right. all of a sudden? Yep. Well, it's always the person that's the most uh, in the dark about everything that finds their way into a set where they're not supposed to be. <laughs> so apparently this one lady had a hair appointment at Oh My Nappy Hair. She parked, she decides she's gonna go ahead and come over. She gets past the police, on set security, past the production assistants, walks right into the middle of the zombie horde. Oh. The zombie horde is between takes. What do a bunch of bored zombies do? Well, they decide to go chasing after her. She thought it was go time, it was the end of the world. You could hear her scream up uh -uh. and down the street. Oh my Bloody God. murder. All right, Benita, if you were in that, what, what? What would you have done? You know, I probably would have played it off and ran with the zombies. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So then I wouldn't have been the target anymore. I'd have been like, okay, where are we right. going? Let me get some blood. Let me get some blood. So I pointed yeah. myself and ran with them, you know? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm not going to be the last black person going down before the credits run. Yeah. Welcome to Miller's Rexall Drugs. This place has been in business here since 1965. But this building has also been used in a couple other different movies too, including Rings 3, which was filmed downstairs. All right, so Carrie, you told us that this was one of your favorite stops yes. on the tour. Yeah. So tell us why. Well, there's, I, I, he gets new stuff all the time, all the time. Um, the essential oils, just the, the room sprays. He's got a whole section over here on the back side of this yeah. that's all these crazy room sprays. Okay, like, what's a room spray? Sure, just like, like so, th so this is jinx removing spray. What? Keep from going to jail spray. Oh, I need that. I'll take one of those. Okay. Do you have anything for getting pregnant? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I bet they have that. I bet you do. They laugh because they know. Yeah, they've done been making some babies. Okay, we're getting ready to go downstairs in the basement of we're Rexall at, Drugs. Yeah. Rexall Drugs. If you if you know that we haven't returned, that's where we are. You ready? No. Oh. Oh. With the camera crew. This place is frightening. And then one by one. You're standing in what is originally what is now underground Atlanta. This used to walk, this used to be open and you could walk, because this was the front of the hotel. These are beautiful mahogany doors. You could walk over to what is now original um, and what is now current underground Atlanta. You can see how old this building is, because this is granite in which they used to build the walls here. You can also oh. smell how old this building yes. is. <laughs> okay. okay. Ah! All, right. All right. That's frightening. Wow. Smoking the Bandit came out in 1977. It was the second highest grossing movie of the year behind Star Wars. Oh, okay. I like two... that you I like that you keep thinking we that know. We're so gonna like, know the answer. You know. Come That's on. It. Don't know it. <laughs> so we're standing in the Marriott Marquis where so many cool films have taken place. This is an incredible filming location. All right, Flight, yeah. Catching Fire, and Spider-Man Homecoming has a shot of Michael Keaton's character, the Vulture, flying down. What's yeah, been your favorite part? Oh, that the store that we went to. Oh yeah. Yeah. Were you creeped out? Yes, a little. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, you guys can look down. I'm scared. I'm afraid of heights. Oh, Are you really too. terrified? Me too. Well, guys, we 
we had a blast on the Best of Atlanta tour. Yes, we did, and you can get your tickets at atlantamovietours.com. You know Glenn's favorite restaurant? No. In town? Yeah. Barcelona? No, Popeyes. Oh.